Welcome to Turnwright Machine Works. My name is Keith. And today we have a little special jig in here and I call this whole thing called the Clinton Clamp. And that's because all the action happens below the table level. Alright, you want to check this out? Alright, I got you there so you can see the whole thing here. And I got it low speed. And I've got the gear locked in. And I'm going to use the hand control to raise bit up against there. We're going to put the countersink into that lower side of the, the brass work here. That way we're drawing it up through there. when you've got something where you've got such an abstract shape here that you can't get a hold of it in a regular mill or something like that, you've got to come up with stuff like this. Now I'm going to get a little uh, cutting fluid here, I think. I don't know, it is doing pretty good. But I might want some lubrication on that stem because it's wanting to hold it over. chuck and then this just comes right out the bottom and now we can get a really good look at that I think that that looks fantastic how, how, how where are we at we're right out the edge out here perfect maximum grip and uh, we're gonna move on over we're gonna get this one here and then we'll go ahead and we're gonna flip it over and and we'll re-Clinton clamp it and then flip it back over.
like that. I like it. I like it. Making sure I got enough room out there and hugging them in as close as possible so that I've got the leverage. Alright, now we flip her back over. We get the other two holes.
pole here. And I think we're ready. This is the hard one here because this strut is directly in line with any way of getting in there and, and putting this in from the top side. But by pulling it all straight with the square of the bottom, we're guaranteed that we, we're, we're keeping a straight line with the existing pattern. Now we copied this pattern right from the bottom of the foot of the other strut. So we got an exact match, and then by coming in from this side here to get the countersink, we've got the proper fit up for the head of the, the flathead strut bolt. tiny lip on this side. That's what I was shooting for. You can see uh, what happened to the other strut there, and then he cut this head off here and uh, sent it to us. Let me just tighten that down just so we can we can get a grip on these fasteners to pull this loose. And of course the table's still loose, but we can manage. Real nice. Alright, so we've duplicated the countersinks, the whole pattern and the depth. And you can see that that one there, there's no way in, in reality that you would have even got through the head of the, uh, the casting up here to get to that, that one there or this one. So you can, you can see the countersinks that that tool bit did. And that tool, giving you a look at it through that, I'll just hold it back here. Okay, you can see that I just tack welded there, and that's just a countersink tool, and that's just a 3 8 round, and I just draw this up backwards through the, the uh, bore, and I do this on the big flat blade struts that, that are laid over that you can't get to, and also on here. But now I have the new Clinton clamp procedure, and, you know, everything happens below the table. Alright. 
I did not have sex with that strut. Get her done.